Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, we're going to take a look at that. How do you sort the dates correctly in Power BI? Now, if you work with date column and sorting order in the past, you know that there is a feature in Power BI called sort by another column. And we're going to take a look at a couple of examples of that. But first, real quick, let me explain you the data and the data model. Here we have a sales table in the sales table. We have date price, product ID and the units, which is connected to a my calendar table using the date column. And I have a total sales measure, which is nothing but simply the multiplication of the price into units in the calendar table i have date i have month i have year i have the concatenation of the month and the year and then i have the concatenation of the week number and the year right so a couple of columns here and let's just maybe try to present the data in multiple calendar columns as we can so uh, here i have year and the month but let's just say that i also bring the month into my pivot table so i get my month uh, right into my rows of the pivot table expand my pivot table and you can see that the month doesn't appear properly the first month should be january but the first month is actually april this is because this is in alphabetical order but this should actually be in the correct month order so how do we sort it so i'm going to go back to my uh, calendar table right here create a new column for sorting the months in the correct order so i'm going to right click here i'm just going to say a uh, new column and i am just going to create a column i'm going to call this as month sort and i'm going to find the month number of the calendar date close the bracket press enter and i get the month sort month sort is nothing but the month number of the particular date january gets assigned as one february gets assigned as two and that's the way that i'd like to sort the month so i click on the month go to modeling sort by the month sort order i'm going to come back to my visual and if i take a look at this this is now correct january becomes the first month december becomes the last month absolutely good now at times what happens is that you might want to sort it in a different order where you might want to sort the months by a fiscal calendar where let's say for example in india the fiscal calendar starts in april and ends in march so april should be my first month and march should be my last month how do we do that so if i come back to my calendar table once again i right click and i create another column i'm just going to call this as fiscal sort fiscal month sorting all right if i have to make april as the first month then april should be assigned as one one is technically the number of january so what i'm going to do is i'm going to find the date three months prior so i'm going to say equals to e date e date of the calendar date column comma minus three uh, this simply will take this date which is the date of january and push it behind by three months negative three is nothing but number of months i press enter i get a date here so if it's the month of jan i get number 10 if it's the month of april i get number one which is the month of jan and then i find the month of not the current date but the three months prior date so i find the month number of this particular date close the bracket press enter and i get the month number so april will be one march will be 12 and that's correct now i will sort the month in this particular order so home uh, sort by the fiscal month and this is good enough i come back here and this is good to go and you can see that we start in april we end in the month of march all right let's take a look at another example where i'd like to sort it by the concatenation of the month and the year i already have a column for that so if i now take a look at the month and the year i'd like to sort it by this but before i do that i want to correct the sorting that i just did so i will click on the month come back and sort it by the month sort which is my calendar sorting and this seems correct and now i will sort it by the month and the year all right so i already have a column here i'm just going to remove the year and the month from here i drag the month and the year into my pivot table and again you can see the same problem appears april alphabetically ranks up on the top so it just shows april right up on the top but technically it should be jan of 2011 running right up till the december of 2011 and then 2012 should come in now let's just see that how can we sort the month and the year so i'm going to create another column for creating a sort order for month and the year so right click and create a new column now the logic of my column is something like this what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert every single month into an alphabet. So January is A, February is B and so on and so forth. So we have like 12 months. So I will have alphabets until 12 and then I will do the sort order. So how do I convert the month into alphabets? So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to find the month number. So month of the calendar date 
in fact we already have the month column and in fact I can just use this month sort column or I can find it once again both are the same things so uh, I find the month number and I get the month number right here now to this month number I'm gonna add a number called 64 now I'll explain to you why am I adding such a weird number to this now the total becomes 65 and for Feb it becomes 66 67 so on and so forth now the ASCII characters assign 65 as alphabet A and 66 as alphabet B so on and so forth so all that I have to do is convert 65 into an alphabet so which I'm gonna do that using the DAX form formula called uni character it is just asking me for a number and I just provide the number uh, months and I add 64 to that close the bracket press enter and this gets converted into alphabet so January becomes 1 February becomes 2 so on and so forth now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the year so I'm gonna say year and I'm gonna concatenate year and uh, the alphabet so 2009 a sorry 2011 a 2011 b 2011 c so this is going to be sorted in the correct order so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the month and the year and sort this by this so let me just give a proper name to the column so i'm just going to call this as sort uh, for uh, month year right and i'm going to take this column uh, modeling tab sort by month year and sort it by this particular column i'm going to come back to my report and let's just take a look at the data right here it's absolutely fine so we see we see that we have january february march april and right up till december and then the jan month starts once again all right finally we sort the data by a week and the year let's see if we get that correctly so i'm just going to remove the month and the year from here we already have the week year uh, it's called as week i can just rename that as week year and you can see that it's again not right it shows week 10 first but week 1 of 2011 should come first and then down up to week 52 or 53 whatever it is it should go up till there and then again start 2012 uh, so the logic here is that again I'm gonna convert all the weeks into alphabets but the problem is the alphabets are 26 but the weeks are 52 or 53 so let's just see that how can we tackle this issue but first let's just go find out that how many weeks are there in 2011 and in 2012 right so I'm gonna come to Excel and do some rough work there so we have the end of the date here and I'm just gonna quickly find the number of weeks that formula is equals to week number I select the date and I say that my week starts on uh, Monday so number two means Monday close the bracket press enter this will give me the number of weeks in that particular year if the week starts on Monday so I drag it down you can see that uh, all these years right from 11 up till 24 have 53 weeks and just one year has 54 weeks so we need 54 unique characters that means after our alphabets have finished uh, up till Z so we can label week 1 as alphabet A so week 1 as alphabet A week 2 as alphabet B so on and so forth up till Z we will finish all our alphabets and after that I will need to write something like Z A right and then we'll again finish our alphabets once we reach Z and Z then we need to write double Z and then we need to write A after that so something like that we'll have to do let's just take a look at that how can we do that in Power BI so I'm going to create another column as you would expect uh, real quick and I've already written the DAX code so I'm just gonna copy and paste that code but I will take an effort to explain you what this code is so first of all I am declaring a variable the variable is week number and I'm finding what is the week number of the current date so what this will do is this will go find the week number of the first date the second date the third date the fourth date so on and so forth that's standard stuff nothing too complicated and here also I'm writing number two I'm saying that my week starts on Monday after which what I do is I uh, write the which function and I say that hey figure out when the formula becomes true so I say hey why don't you find the week number and if the week number is less than 26 or not because we have 26 characters if the week number is less than 26 then I take the week number whatever week number is it 1 2 3 4 and I add 64 to that and if I say that if the week number is less than equal to 52 then I write the word Z and I write the week number in the unicar function and I add 38 to that now why do I add 38 and not 64 because when the week number goes above 26 which means the week number is 27 you will have to add 38 to it so that it becomes 65 so that it becomes the alphabet A 
right and when the week becomes actually 53 you will have to add 12 to it so that it becomes 65 and then the 65 becomes the alphabet A. So that's why I have added uh, the number 38 and the number 12 here. A little trick here is that I have prefixed that with the alphabet Z and I have prefixed this with the alphabet double Z at the start. In the alphabetical order, this is going to come right up in the end. So this formula right here is going to give me the alphabetical order which will start from A to Z and after Z, it starts with Z A, Z B, Z C and so on and so forth and then again it starts with if the weeks are going beyond 53 and then it starts with double Z and so on and so forth. I combine that with the year at the start so I say combine the year and then I combine the alphabets and I press enter and I create this column week sort and I'm now going to take my week year and sort it by this particular column. So in the modeling tab sort by the week sort column and it is sorted now let's just go take a look at the visual we have it right so we can see that week one week two week three week four so on and so forth and if you take a look at 2012 how is that functioning it's functioning as per what we decided so we can see that it's showing week one week two week three so on and so forth all right those were a couple of interesting examples uh, to sort the data by another column especially in the date table if you have any questions around this please feel free to put them down in the comments i'll be more than happy to help you out and thanks so much for watching this i'll see you in the next one take care and bye bye